Hey guys, so today I am super inspired by my friend on Instagram. Her name is Bella or Makeup by Bells. And the other day she did this amazing warm toned smoky eye. Oh, I loved it. So this is the picture. I'll show you guys the picture. So this is what she did here. And her Instagram is phenomenal. I met her back in... Was it July or June? I met her. I met her back earlier in the year, anyway, at the um, at a NYX event. And oh my God, she's the sweetest, most little tiny, loveliest person I've ever met. She's so cute. So if you aren't already following her on Instagram, then I 110% recommend go check her out. Her body painting and her artwork that she does on her face and on her body is absolutely, like it's amazing and I would give my left arm to be able to create stuff like that. She's stunning. Please check her out. Inspiration from her look today, obviously it's not going to look exactly the same. I do not want to copy Bella at all. I'm going to pin my little hair so that I don't get foundation everywhere to start off with in this bodysuit that I'm thoroughly constricted in and I cannot lift my arms past here because <laughs> it's attached to my butt. <laughs> First off, just priming my face with the Smashbox Hydrating Primer. My fave since I've got such dry skin. That is not the right side of the mirror. So just putting that everywhere. So the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm in the shade Vanilla. I do find it to be a tiny little bit too dark for me but that's okay. And I focus it more towards in the centre of the face and then um, less as we get to like the edges of the face I put less product there. Gonna get in my hair. And I'm because it's too dark for me, I'm gonna put some under here to blend out. To buff that in with my Zoeva 102 silk finish brush. foundation is all on. I'm going to just quickly run through my brows with the ABH brow powder in Ebony. going to just set all of the hairs in place with the Benefit Gimme Brow. And now just carving them out with a little bit of concealer and also priming our eyelids. a matte white eyeshadow and setting down the concealer. I'm going to use the shade Birkin by Anastasia Beverly Hills just on a Zoeva 221 soft crease brush through my upper crease. go back real old school and pick up the shade Rule and this is by MAC. And I'm going to put that in pretty much the exact same place as um, Birkin. Maybe I want to try and put it a little tiny bit lower though. Having the new 
even more intense orange shade. So just this one down at the bottom here. This is from the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette and the shade is called Jam. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe M441 brush, which is quite similar to the Zoeva one, apart from um, the M441 is more tapered at the ends and the Zoeva one is more like poofy. Focusing that colour on my outer corner and winging it out and also bringing it up into the crease. Not as high as the first shade Birkin that we put down, but I'm still wanting to deepen up um, the middle crease and the inner corner crease just a little bit, just for dimension. And I'm using a lot of eyeshadow, like I'm dipping in maybe 10 times throughout this entire step into the colour because I want this orange to be super intense. I'm taking this shade here which is called Mud and I'm using a MAC 217 brush and just first pressing down where I want the most pigment to be so that is in this outer corner and then also dragging it up first of all just jumping straight back in with the rule eyeshadow and I'm going to smoke out my entire lower lash line with this and I'm going to bring this down quite low as well And as I've said in previous videos, I like to bring my dark colours all the way to the inner corner. If you don't like doing that, then you totally don't have to do it. And then I am going to take my little shader brush by Morphe and pick up the mud colour that we used from the Lime Crime palette and put that closer to my lash line. Because I want it to be a little bit more blown out, I'm going to pick up the mud shade on the same blending brush that we used for Rule. And then I'm going to go in with that really intense orange shade from the same Lime Crime palette. But put it lower, I want to put that underneath mud. Got my lid colour, I'm going to use two shades that I'll be using to highlight with later on. And oh, I don't want to pour it everywhere. <laughs> this is the first one. It's just a rose gold pinky champagne colour. And it is um, a sparkling dust for the face, eyes and body by Inglot. And this one's in the shade 1. So first I'm going to wet my brush with Max Fix Plus and then put that um, on my lid. And then on top of that I'm going to pack on... This say it's another sparkling dust for the face, eyes, and body by Inglot, and this is in number two. And then picking up the gold shade and putting that on top. I'm gonna pull that into my in a corner and I'm also going to put it on my brow bone
And sometimes, just to add a little bit of extra sparkle, I'm going to take my MAC Reflex Pearl Glitter and pack that and just dust that on top. Now let's move on to the face. Sorry for this really stylish hairdo. Um, it was getting in my way and I had to move it because it was shitting me bad. I feel so stylish with my hair. <laughs> so bad. Then for the contour side of things, just taking my Stila Cream Contour Palette in the shade Light and using the darker colour. If we're, and then I'm going to take the highlight shade to the concealer, bring it down the sides of my nose and around my lips and under. First off I will blend out that concealer under my eye. Take my duo fiber brush and blend out my contour cheekbones and blend out my contour. And then we'll just take our foundation brush and anywhere that's like too orange on the forehead, we can just run over that. Then I'm going to take my little Morphe brush and do my chin. So just blending those lines down and under. And under the lip and then dragging this brush down our nose as well. Okay, and I'm also going to set over my powder contour. Ugh. I'm also going to set over my cream contour with obviously a powder contour because we all know she extra so just taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder in the shade Fawn and this Napoleon chisel blush brush blush brush I want to stick with the orange theme so I'm going to use this NARS blush in Frenzy. I can't remember how pigmented these are. I haven't used them in a really long time so we'll see. Oh 
okay, they pigmented. Highlight, I'm just gonna take a mixture of the shades that we used on the lid. So just the um, two Inglot, so just the two Inglot. I've just mixed a little concoction of them together on my brush. Oops, <laughs> that's a lot. on my chin Cupid's eye and I'll just take a pencil brush and put it on my nose just on the tip of my nose and also down the bridge okay so and then oh my god look at my hair sorry. <laughs> okay so and then for lips I'm going to line with Max Saw lip liner And for my lip colour, just using this little tiny lip, satin lip pencil by NARS and it's in the shade Descan, so I don't know, but it's really pretty. I don't know what shade it is. Might chuck on a little tiny bit of this one as well, which is just a another satin lip pencil, and this one is in Torres Del Pain. I don't know. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you like the turnout of the makeup look. I'm really loving it. I think it is so glam. I'm really loving it. And I want to thank Bella or Makeup by Bells on Instagram so much for her inspiration and for inspiring me to do this makeup look um make sure that if you aren't already checking her out then go and follow her check out her work her stuff is amazing leave all the products that i use down in the description box below especially if you guys are wanting to know the names of this lip combination since I don't know how to pronounce anything. Um, make, and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please leave any comments down below on makeup looks that you want to see from me next time. And subscribe if you're not already. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video again. And I will see you in my next one.